Okay, so this is my first ever stand-up comedy that I've ever tried to do, so uh, just to start off, I'm just going to be introducing myself a little bit. So, my name is Isaac Martinez, I'm 22 years old, uh, I do videography and editing for a job, and I also make YouTube videos, so... By that I mean, like, I do some really dumb stuff on video, and then I post it on my YouTube channel for, like, all my subscribers and stuff to see, so... Like, some of the stuff that I do is, like, it's really, really dumb, okay? So 90% of the stuff that I do is, is pretty dumb, but, like, the other 10% is, like, I get super easily influenced, okay? So, as, about, like, two or three years ago, I started binge-watching Ghost Adventures on Netflix, and because, they're not Netflix, on Hulu. And because of that, uh, it, it, it inspired me to try to become a ghost hunter. So, uh, I told one of my friends that was always down to make YouTube videos with me, if he was down to go into this tunnel, that people would say was, it was haunted, they would like always hear voices, footsteps, or stuff like that. I asked him, like, are you down to go into this tunnel and see if we hear any kind of like voices or stuff like that? And he was down, so I was like, alright, let's do it. So we go into this tunnel, and like, it, it's a small little tunnel, okay, so it's, it's about like, like that high, maybe that low. And like we, we had to like crouch in there and it was, it was already far, like it's barred off so like someone had already like grabbed it and like must have like pulled it together in order to get it to, to like so people can crawl through. So this was the very last time that we ever went in there. Okay, so we like we, we, we shifted our way into the into the little bars and we, we walked the furthest down we had ever gone before into this tunnel and like we, we went as far down as we could not see the other end of the tunnel. Like we went super far down and like uh, we just started asking like random questions and as I was like like crouching down I, I asked this one question and like usually any regular person would be like they would they, they should be aware of what's about to happen next after I asked this question so like we were asking this random question then I asked if anybody is in this tunnel make a noise and then like two seconds later I heard this big bang on the wall and then I looked at my friend and then his eyes got all big like like as big as I've ever seen and he started bolting away like I literally think he could have gone like like uh a world record for crouching while running like as fast as he can so he ran down on the opposite side of the tunnel to get it as far away as he could and as he was running it made me scared so I just started like bolting out of there like as fast as I could and then and then we like after that like it was all funny games so like the first five times that we went in there it was all funny games okay so like like it was, like we didn't think much of it but then suddenly just paranormal shit started happening in my own house like after this like i just started like hearing like stuff in my own house and i don't know about you guys but one of the things that scares me the most being home alone at night is is, is baby dolls or vintage toys okay like if i see one of those in my in the, the living room and i'm home alone like there's no way i would stay in the house like i would literally grab that toy and like throw it as far away from me as I can. Like, I don't, I don't care where I'm at. So there was this one time where I, I was hanging out with some friends, okay? And uh, this was when my little sister was like, uh, like little, she still played with like little baby dolls, okay? So, like it was, she has one of those baby dolls that have like the little stroller and it has like the little, the, the little, little thing that you feed them with and all that. So I got, I, I got home with one of, some of my friends and then we walked in and like as soon as I walked into the house, I walked in first, my second friend walked in and my third walked in and as I was rolling, as I was walking in, like the stroller for this baby doll was just like chilling next to the couch and as I was walking, for some reason that stroller moved back at the exact time when I put my, my leg in, the, in its like direction and it hit me right on my foot and I looked at my friend I was like, yo, did you just see that thing move? And he looked at me and he was like, yeah, bro. And then I was like, yo, whose who's house are we going to right now? Because I mean, I'm not really trying to be in here. <laughs> like, whoever, whatever ghost was controlling that stroller, like, it, it, it was a plan attack. Like, there's no way that, that there wasn't. Like, they, that person that was haunting that stroller had to have been like, okay, okay, let's, let's wait a second. And he's about to pass it. Now, throw it now, throw it now. And then they threw it. And then as threw it to him, and they were like, <laughs> So, like, they, like, it was a planned attack, okay, so, there was just the other time, like, I, I told you, like, the scariest thing that would happen to me, being home alone at night, is children's toys, baby dolls, vintage toys, whatever it may be, and there was this one time, so I was going to school in Ohio, I'm not making this story up, this is 100% real story, so I was going to, 
I was going to school in Ohio. I, like I was, I went to one of my friends' house to go hang out, and as like we were done hanging out, he showed me to this extra room that they had. And as soon as I walked in the door, there's three strikes that I saw in this room. Okay, three different things that happened that I was like, okay, I can't sleep in here. So strike number one, I walked in. First thing I see when I open the door and I walk in, and I see these big stuffed animals, like these big toy stuffed animals. There was like a giraffe, there was like a big monkey, and then there was like an elephant, and one more toy. There was just, just, just four of them, and I looked at my friend, I was like, yo, you really have these in here? Like, you, like you guys really like thought it was a good idea to have these just in there? Like, you can't put them in like your basement or something like that? And he was like, nah, so I was like, all right, all right, that's, that's good, that's, that's fine, I'm okay with that. So, strike number two is they have this big mirror, like this full body mirror, taller than I am, and they had it pointing straight at the bed. And I was like, I looked at it, I was like, I don't know about you guys, but I, like, I also get scared if I look at myself sleep. Like if I wake up and there's a mirror right in front of me and I see myself while I wake up and I'm sleeping, like, I can't do that. Like, you know, like, it's, like what if something just like appears behind me, my house is haunted. Like what if something just comes out of there, you never know. So. Like as like I, as I was like turning that thing, cause I did not want that mirror to be facing me while I was sleeping. I turned I turned the, the mirror to the opposite way, and then as I turned around, strike number three, the thing that set me off at this point, there was two vintage baby dolls on the dresser of the counter. Okay, and these things were literally sitting like like against the wall on the dresser like that, and they were like that, just like look, looking straight. And I told them I was like, yo. I cannot have these in, in in this house, dude. Like, we gotta get these out of here. So I grabbed the two vintage dolls. Okay, I grabbed them. The window was open in here. And in the room, the window was open. I I, I, I put my hand back for maximum power. Did a little, <laughs> threw them out the window. They were out of there. There's no way I was sleeping in that house with those baby dolls in there. So threw them out the window, and then they didn't invite me back over to the house after that. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that was, that was it. Thank you guys for, for listening. If you guys want to show this to any of your friends, I'll make like a YouTube video on it. So if you guys want to check out my YouTube channel, it's <laughs> youtube.com forward slash go aqua, or you can just type in aqua life on the YouTube bar. So thank you guys for listening. Thank you. Thank you.